You guys, making hydration a priority can help all of us feel healthier in our everyday lives. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 15% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TRASHTUESDAY at checkout. And you're going to need that discount when you put it inside your very expensive Swarovski cup. That's 15% <laughs> off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TRASHTUESDAY at liquidiv.com. Well, hello, Fresh. <laughs> Hello Fresh's quick and easy recipes, 20 minute meals, and low prep, low cleanup options provide an even faster route to putting food on the table around your packed schedule. That's HelloFresh.com slash Trash Tuesday 16 and use code Trash Tuesday 16. That's Trash Tuesday 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I am so excited to be back on the road. It is my pride and joy. I love meeting you guys. Come out and party. It is so fun. I will be at the Pittsburgh Improv in Pennsylvania, September 9th through 10th. So you know I'll be flying on the 11th, so this is huge. Um, Tempe Improv, September 22nd to 24th, La Jolla Comedy Club, September 16th through 18th. I'm going to be one night at the Caluso Casino in California, you guys. It's going to be so fun. You want to see Annie in a casino. There's no better place to see me. I'm in my happy place. Let Please come buy merch. All merch money will be donated to gambling. <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri, October 7th through 8th. Irvine, California, October 20th. San Jose, November 11th through 12th. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. You can also see me this Monday and every Monday at 5 p.m. PST, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern for my audio show on Spotify Live. Don't bore me. Get all of your best stories ready to impress me or you're going to get the boot. And we are very hard and it's very fun. And then my solo podcast, Annie Wood, will be coming out very, very soon. So please follow my um, YouTube, Annie Letterman, for all the updates. Thanks, guys. Hi, slugs. I'm really excited to announce that I'm starting a new solo podcast available on Amazon AMP starting Monday, August 22nd. And you can find all the information about that, I think, on my social media. But get ready. It's coming soon. Can't wait. <laughs> Why are people getting fucking? She had to go through two surgeries to get these titties taken out. I, I take it's just you just remove socks. It's so can easy. I actually tell you something very traumatic I saw about fake titties that I think I told Carlos this and it, like we and want you to keep getting them though. It's so this doctor. It was on TikTok. Sorry, he pulled <laughs> out the implants, the encapsulations, and they're what crunchy. Can you tell people they were? It was covered in like a chalk-like substance, yeah. and they, he banged them, and they were hard, hard and crunchy. And he said that the girl developed calcium, it's, like around them. Well, that's what your body normally does. Anytime a foreign body is introduced to it, it forms a barrier to kind of separate itself from that foreign body, and that's called an encapsulation. And is that the that's same what as happened. like scar tissue? Similar, but like, <laughs> let's say for instance, like my left breast was hard as a rock after eight months. So was I. So you had this? <laughs> yeah. So was I. I had an encapsulation. <laughs> Worse yet is when they explanted my implants, she said that there was like a black liquid that they couldn't identify, that it was almost like, it looked like volcanic ash. <laughs> well, that it was. Oh my God, <laughs> you're so Hawaiian. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> yeah, dude. We get Ew. it. But this is, I'm I'm guessing mine looked even worse than the the um, some of the encapsulations Could, I've seen on TikTok. I have a hot take. I actually am happier to see that because it looks more human than before they get all fucked up. That isn't even what scared me. What scared me is Why did they turn into like a jade crystal down there? When you see a white crust, I don't like, I feel like the, a picture of a M &M. white crust bothers you if it's not on the side of your mouth. <laughs> a thick Imagine white... looking at you talk for an hour and a half. Imagine. <gasps> oh my God. It's like, I'm so scared. I will never get implants. Like, you were thinking about it? I mean, everyone's always like, in the Listen, best I love tit jobs. I love them. I don't want to discourage people from getting them. No. I think it's like so generous. Thank you so much for doing that for us. But I just never want to do it. But I do, when I see Whitney's, I'm like, I am so happy. That, that she did it. They're here for yeah. us. Yeah. But mm. it doesn't so it doesn't Squish. happen to everyone, right? Hers is best case scenario. Also, best case scenario is you have a lot of money to constantly replace 
and repay for a surgery to fix an encapsulation because no, that's more money. Why go into surgery so much, dude? I was on a dive trip, and one of my friends that I've been friends with since I was 17 and I realized I'm like but he'll be like dude you're single you need to get your tits back like saying shit like that and I'm just like tits back I need to get like my implants back he's like you can't be walking around like this what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and he opens up a fucking energy drink (laughs) what are you gonna do (laughs) boob jobs are like the energy drink of tits they kind of are like the monster breasts it's like you yeah you he was doing what he was supposed to do right right he he fit the bill didn't you all get a little horny though when she said it (laughs) (laughs) just get one just get let's one. test it out. Let's see, like the side Kalila and then regular side Kalila. Who gets more dick? <laughs> <laughs> Which part of me do you want to fuck? <laughs> Which side are you? You have to just walk sideways into every date. <laughs> Wait, but so when you had those in, did you feel them? They were hard. Yeah. Were you like? Did you know what it, it was? Literally? Yeah, I knew what they were. I knew it was an encapsulation. I also felt tossed. <laughs> I know you're nipple <laughs> I felt claustrophobic in my own body. When I first took my implants out, I could not stop touching my soft boobs. Were you happy? I was so happy yeah. and so relieved. And I just, I was so happy that they were soft and bouncy. Do you feel again. like skin pulling feeling when you have them? Yeah, they were tight. Like imagine when you're laying down, just this mound just still sitting high and tight Ooh, above you really your chest. hit yourself. I heard that. It like popped. <laughs> Did you hear it's that? All like, bone. It's all bone. It's all bone. It Just didn't cold. used to feel that way. It was very bouncy. <laughs> but um, if it's for you, if it's for you. And some people react really well to implants. I was not one yeah. of them. I react great to them if they're not in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, hubba, hubba, hubba. Same girl. <laughs> I identify. They're just, they don't look real ever. Like I never, I'm not really fooled ever, but. I sometimes I've I've grown accustomed to the shape and I think it's LA living here. It's really just Whitney, honestly. Yeah, Whitney is It's really Whitney. Mm. Yeah, she's hot. Naked. I'm curious to know how many times until she got it perfect the way she wanted. I feel like she wrote in her book that she had two surgeries, right? Like one like botched one and then one fancy one. I have to be careful what I write in my book. She's actually gonna read it. <laughs> As there's the only one reading people's books. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Do you know how many like personally signed books I have that I'm just like, mm. I read the forward. I go, oh, thank you. <laughs> Whitney's face in that before is one of the scariest things I've it's ever just seen. An Im- she's making an she's embarrassing being crazy. face. Yeah, she's so being crazy. It's like there's no change. <laughs> she's so it's just crazy. in one she's embarrassing and in the other she's cool. Is that the same dress? It oh, did no. look the same, but it's different. Oh, oh same bra maybe. That the is... same like sloppy bra dress over it. That's a clever... Switch way to fool us okay to not let the ha-has fall out <laughs> well, guys so do you see anything new the cup is it's wow. giving trisha paytas in the best way i well it's j-lo but trisha i love you too <laughs> um this is i watched the j-lo documentary and she carried this around the entire time the only thing i took from the documentary was get this cup <laughs> <laughs> So I tracked down the bitch that made her cup, and I you had her did? make me. Yeah, I had her make me an A lead. You know, I need and I to paid know extra to get it expedited. How much? They're all Swarovski cost? crystals. They're all. No, awful. they're not. They are. Everyone's so mad at me when I tell them the, how the much only was person. It? The only person that liked how much it cost and got excited was Lisa Traeger last night. <laughs> of course, she is the same type of celebrity trash bitch that I am, but like. I have I'm a like little bit of that it. in me. Wait, how, you do. how much was it? All right, fans, get ready to be pissed at me. I don't give a fuck, wait, right? Wait, I do what wait, I want with my wait, money. Wait, we should guess. Wait, we should okay. guess. Okay. This is so exciting. How many? I want to count. This is good because maybe I'll overguess and then it won't be that bad. Mm. Swarovski, crystals, uh, even the black ones? Mm-hmm. Fucking better be. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, put them in your teeth and make sure. <laughs> <laughs> put them I up your asshole say, and squeeze. Okay, I want to say $1,100. Okay, I want to say I really hope what I I'm going to give the price I hope it was. I hope it was 600. If people are mad, uh, 1200. $600, folks. What? $600, you have to understand, it is a plastic <laughs> tumbler from Starbucks. That's awesome. That's I just cool. wanted, I said I wanted exactly like JLo's except for it to say A-Led. It kind of says <laughs> Al-Ed, but it's okay. We'll take it, we'll take it, bitch, we'll Wait, take it. It's like and a- I paid 50 bucks to get it expedited and I gave her 10 extra dollars to it's let her Al know. It's Al Bundy and Ed Bundy. It is, oh, and Ed, what's his last oh, name? Oh, Ted Bundy, oops. No, 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 but Ed, his Ed. name is Ed. 
the Ed, actor. The actor. Oh, Ed's yeah. Ed O'Neill. Uh, Ed O'Neill. It's an Ed O'Neill shrine. It is. Look at this. Because <laughs> you are like him, kind of. I would much rather be likened to him than J-Lo, but I am trying to kind of get it. I call it my diva cup. I fill it with period. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, well, I'm trying to like become the, the level of diva I want to mm. become. So I'm just, I'm watching all these documentaries. I'm taking what I can from each of them. Gaga already had so much in common with. Let's be real. Uh, the uh, the thong strap hanging out. I've oh, been doing right. since I, I was know, fourteen years old. I know. Old. And for me, all this. of her body pain. I'm basically her. I, fibromyalgia. Cluster headaches. <laughs> cluster headaches. I felt the same way. The way she was like, "You guys think I'm being difficult, but if I put my arm in and there's a little thing off, I'm not." I was like, "Yes, Gaga." There's one thing that I took from her documentary, which is if I ever had to splurge on something for the rest of my life, it would be the daily massages that she was getting. Yes. On her. Always someone just manipulating her jaw. Yes. Well, doing this. You're single now. I'm sure you can get that pretty easy. <laughs> I don't think that one's going to be hard. I'm sure Carlos will volunteer. Jesus. Um, but did you know Carlos just got the monkeypox vaccine? It was to be safe, Annie. It was declared a national emergency. <sighs> Carlos, six thousand people got it. <laughs> I had, I wore short shorts. <laughs> you know what i think time i think it's time now we had a crazy episode last week and we asked for replacements for carlos and i want to tell you i actually did find a replacement for him i'll be right back everybody close your eyes okay really okay <laughs> wait including me as they open her mouth they're closed <laughs> all right everybody keep them closed, keep them closed. mouth open mouth open obviously <laughs> My eyes are still closed and I'm- It's worth it. It's hurting my neck. All right. <laughs> and you can open. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought I that was someone- With Yeezys. <laughs> okay. Oh my Is God, I'm flesh? matching Yeezys with the replacement. They've got Yeezys, Carlos's outfit, his bald ass head. <laughs> and the same amount he gave as input last time on the <laughs> I gotta say this is amazing. No, no, it's not real. It's not really me. But it is really him. It's like, not. kind of is you. It's like a yarmulke, a it's, flesh colored yarmulke? It's a it's a fryer tuck wig. Okay. From the Halloween episode. Amazing. Wow. Can I borrow that wig actually? Hold on. Hey, let me Carlos, do you wanna sit by no, me? No, 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 it's okay. No, okay. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> 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 Carlos has been replaced. This person will be better at reading the articles. <laughs> no, I studied today. Oh. Annie, did you blow this up? I did on the way in. I was like, are they going to see me outside a car blowing up a doll? doll? I pulled over on the... It's like the, the horniest man ever. You had to pull over, blow up the doll to fuck like, it. Ah. <laughs> but it was... I would have gotten Todd to do it. Obviously, this is such a Todd job. Yeah. To blow up but he was... Is that what you... Instead of odd jobs, you call them Todd, Todd jobs? jobs? Yes, yes. It's anything at all uh, that I don't want to do. Carlos, how did you feel after the monkeypox vaccine? And um, how did you get in the front of the line? Were I you wore, wearing like a mesh shirt? I wore short shorts and then a tight t-shirt. Did you wear your banana strap on? No, the one you got mad at me for having. I'm not mad at you for having it. No, I wore my <laughs> Aviator Nation shorts. Just why weren't you helping me with my segment? <laughs> we don't have to go over live show stuff right now. <laughs> you did it. See how he brings it up and then it's hit me. <laughs> uh, did you have symptoms or side I, effects? I actually did have symptoms the next day. Side did, effects. But did you find out it was just like the guy's jizz like crusted up? <laughs> you don't get fucked for monkey pox vaccine. It's not like a... No, I thought that's why meat. you went in. After he oh. fucked you, you went in. You were like, ugh. It was all gay guys. It was? Yeah. And <laughs> like an Esther. It was like gay guys, Karens, and me. It was like overly like... There were no Karens. You're there so was a couple shit. Studio City totally Karens. You are totally making up some shit to I'm try to make yourself a little... Karen. Carlos is trying to come off as a Karen. <laughs> He's like, no, I was the Karen. Oh my God, you should do comb over Karen. Comb it over and become a Karen. I can't yes. do the comb over. I could do the comb over. Carlos, actually. there's things we can do with your fucking hair. It's like, I'm just have them. fun. I'm doing them. Well, I mean... Pigtails? I th no, going blonde. What do you think about that, Kalila? Are you gonna? Um, are know. you gonna dye? She paused. Only if you bleach the top ones as well, the wispy ones. 
Oh, okay. why so we don't is have to that fucking everyone's see them? excited? Because we don't want to see them. <laughs> Do you? Okay, fine. I'll wear a hat. For I that's the thing though. he's offending us with. The best part about your head is not the. <laughs> right. I know you're trolling us. I'm I not know. fucking. She's. Fucking... I know you're a fucking wild card, Carlos. Okay. You're I know. A troll and I wild watched card. last week's episode, and I think you might have overreacted. Yes. Really? <laughs> they didn't even see what was cut out. It was quite wild. It was. But I dumb. think. I, rewatching it was weird to me. So I was like, oh, reality is so different from the drug induced state I'm always in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you're a, you're a, you're not <laughs> like, you're, you're not like, I'm not diagnosing you with anything. I don't think you're like bipolar or anything. You just are a wild card. <laughs> I'd like to also add um, that I'm, I don't necessarily love the hair that's healthy on the sides. I like the wispy dying ones up top. You should pull really? out these ones and make them all wispy. I feel like everyone's trying to confuse you. <laughs> Like on purpose. Yeah, it's like Esther, he's the confusing one. Do you remember last week? <laughs> Esther was like this for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was doing a bit because he was mad but smiling, which is so psycho. <laughs> and the bag was unzipped. When the bag was unzipped, was there anything funnier than Stormy out with an unzipped bag? It's like the most embarrassing. Just part filled with of like Prada that. and expensive things. <laughs> You're calling it out. You're a nerd, your bag's unzipped. It was. Do you know how many times I've been the nerd walking away upset with the unzipped bag? <laughs> uh, do you know how like, many times I've been the bully unzipping the bag as you walk off? <laughs> have you guys ever done like um, flip mode squad where people like if you weren't paying attention in high school, they would flip your entire backpack, put all of the stuff back in. So when the bell rang, you would have a reverse backpack with no straps. And basically, you would have to carry your backpack to the next class. Who like, did that to you? A teacher? No, kids did that all the time. No, they did. They flipped something, but yeah. it wasn't. It was her body. <laughs> no one, Esther, I feel like you would have been pranked in that way. No, I would, I would turn you inside out. I would fuck you up somehow, but you wouldn't. The thing is, Esther takes like, she doesn't like physical pranks. She likes verbal assault. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to do it. You don't. Esther mad is never the goal. You want Esther like. Screaming and running out of a room is fun, yeah. but not mad. She has to be like mad is like serious. Well, a like, little mad. Is everyone funny. has to go home. Why would you do this? Is like a funny thing. <laughs> no, it's like yeah, it's like burn it to the ground when you're really mad. Yeah, it's like are we all done? Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. We all do like a handshake. Like this was fun, guys. <laughs> we'll never see each other. Esther's again. gonna. The, we're gonna be court ordered to stay away from Esther for a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no one ever unzipped my bag like that. That's interesting. Oh, I will see. Turns out I was the bullied one. Mm, Poor little immigrant. You did it to others. I feel like you were Poor the Poor little immigrant. No, I mean, like, that's, I, it was, everybody got got by that. Okay. They, they call themselves the flip mode squad. This was they when did you were in high school? Wait yes. a second. They had a name. Oh my God, I want to But it was it. a term that was an, an actual, like, R&B group or something you like that. You were in high school in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. You had a little tiny backpack, bitch. They put it inside out. There was, like, a no tampon way. and a lip gloss in it. I'm Wait, not buying it. Did you guys know what happened if, did you guys know about Woodstock '99? I did. I watched the entire. I watched. Yes. The I haven't episodes. watched it yet, but it reminded me of something. I didn't know that that <laughs> happened. Died. Did people die? I think you were too young, yeah. Esther. You didn't get Wait, so far I, enough in it. They didn't ever say in the documentary if people, people died. died or not. I didn't finish all of the episodes, but I, I know there's that only three. I finished it. People I died. got to the part where Limp Biscuit came on and, and, he, and Fred Durst was like, out. <laughs> Fred Durst was like, whatever you're feeling inside your body, now's the time to get it out. And, and yeah. And we then, would all have been like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, um, it was interesting because I was into all of those bands when I was like Korn, obviously Jonathan Davis, Red Hot Chili Peppers, what finished off the, the third day. Limp Biscuit. You know who's in this? Who is performing? Is Rich Voss, Bonnie's husband. Really? What? He's like doing stand up in the documentary. I haven't seen it yet, That's but you know funny. who saw it? Who I saw last night at the comedy store, a Trash Tuesday favorite and personal favorite of mine, Sosie Bacon. Yeah, I love Sosie. Uh, was at the comedy store last night with her boyfriend, Scoot. Have we met yeah, Scoot? Scoot yeah. is yeah, the, best. the best. They're so yeah. cute. We took no less than 500 selfies trying to get a good selfie. It's comical. I like want to post a slide of how many. Like there was one where I like I I had like a puffy pussy in one like her, she looked like Jim Carrey in one it was like crazy <laughs> was how, she is her foot still broken no she was she was healthy walking this guy's around. awesome oh, she's yeah I love scoots and yeah everything. he's the best yeah but it was great and then she sent me a picture I got this morning that was like 
um, him asleep, like outside. And she's like, oh, look, he fell asleep pretending to listen to me. She like has a Todd. <laughs> she's like, isn't he sweet? Um, Scoot was, even before I knew Sosie, he was in this show that was so underrated on Netflix called Godless. Yeah, he's really been in kind of everything. And he is incredible seen. in that. You guys, it is so hot in LA right now that I'm actually sweating. Unbearably hot. And I feel weak. Don't you feel like this is Carlos's fault though? That there's no air on? Mm. Shouldn't he have been fanning us? Yes. Like if the if the air conditioner it's a sound wasn't, issue. that's what I'm saying. Shouldn't you be fanning us? Okay. Okay. But we got you fans. Now you need a fan. Us. This okay? is really the time of my life when it's so hot in LA where I have to prioritize hydration, or it will ruin like, all of our days. A, all, everyone we around have me. To hear this but show. also exactly. effective hydration, not mm. just like. Sometimes it's like, yes, water is necessary, but what about when your electrolytes are depleted? You need that for proper heart function, all of the above. So for me, anytime I'm on that bike, anything at all that makes me sweat even a little bit, I add a little packet of liquid IV and I put it in 16 ounces of water and I feel so much better. And it tastes so good. They have the best flavors. Dude, the it's guava, so delicious. The guava flavor, I cannot... Um, get so over good. you guys liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone and it contains five essential vitamins b3 b5 b6 b12 and vitamin c with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks made with premium ingredients non-gmo free from gluten dairy and soy did you say vitamin c like that because like you're like c like because you have your face is round like an orange well i wasn't thinking that necessarily <laughs> i was thinking more like vitamin c keeps us healthy in our immunity strong. and you're the healthy one <laughs> <laughs> um but for every purchase, they donate a serving to someone in need. And to date, Liquid IV has donated over 24 million servings globally. Honestly, I love how hydrated it makes me feel. It keeps me on top of my hydration, most importantly. I really need to try Tropical Punch. And you're usually a bottom, so that's huge for you. It's really big. Yes. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 15% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code Trash Tuesday at checkout. That These is 15% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code Trash Tuesday at liquidiv.com. You guys, we need to talk about HelloFresh because HelloFresh, they have quick and easy recipes that are 20 minute meals. Yeah, okay? goodbye wasting your time cooking, Todd. <laughs> goodbye cleaning, l crazy cleanup. No, but they're spe literally specifically low prep and low cleanup options, and they provide an even faster route to putting food on the table around your pack schedule. You guys, knowing that I'm hungry and within 20 minutes I'm gonna be eating, now that feels good. Especially after a busy day. I just don't have the bandwidth to sit there and think that I even have any energy for a thing that might take an hour and a half to yeah. prepare. No, also it's like I need Todd for other things. I can't have him spending an hour and a half cooking. It's like... And it becomes meditative also because you follow the instructions. They're mm -hmm. simple. It's all laid out for you. You don't have to... What? Esther's dream come true. Just the instructions are so few for you to be like it's meditative is so funny <laughs> <laughs> and also hello fresh is 72 percent cheaper than dining at a restaurant and it's even cheaper than grocery shopping that's money back in your pocket can i also just say this it's like i was thinking i've been really looking at my time and how i waste my time and so much of wasting my time is thinking about what i'm gonna eat planning yeah, what i'm gonna eat where i'm going just all this time and energy it's like sometimes it's just good to have someone else take over and these are like delicious so it's a good way to go with hello fresh you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking easy fun and affordable that's why it's america's number one meal kit go to hellofresh.com slash trash tuesday 16 that's trash tuesday 16 and use code trash tuesday 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Trash Tuesday 16 and use code Trash Tuesday 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Do you guys, did you guys know what happened at Woodstock 99 like before the documentary? Yes. Oh, Are you like asking us? It's three people who died there, by the way. 
Three? Oh, that's it? Only three. From yeah. the fires or from being mosh pitted out? Do you think each mosh of them- Mosh pitted in one was like a previous cardiac issue. Oh, okay. do, you think, yeah. um, do you think they each identified as a different one of us? Maybe. Like an Astro died and Annie died and Nicolala died? <laughs> If I would have died, it would have been from like a bad trip and then stabbing my own heart 90 times Jesus. from like acid. Guys. Wait, that's so beautiful. Can I, I have some <laughs> gifts from the fans that are pretty amazing. Okay. Uh, so I went to Austin, Texas. What if you just punched me in the face? <laughs> <laughs> the, a message has been sent from several people. They said, knock this bitch's teeth out. We, would, we don't want to see that, that tongue out more. Um, okay, so. Oh my God, is it one of the bracelets? This is from, okay, so this is from Big Titted Amy. Sorry, Amy, I don't remember your last name. She's an <laughs> open micer, or an, oh, sorry, a comic. I don't know what level you're at. You did wait in the meet and greet line. It screams open micer. But um, huge titted Amy. I've never seen bigger tits in my life. Um, she made these for us. Bigger than Chelsea Lynn. I just want to say that I have waited in several meet and greet lines in my life. I just yes, want to come you, forward. And do you not give off desperate open micer vibes? <laughs> Amy, we love you. I'm just kidding. She made this for you, Kalila. Oh, it says. It says molested. Molested. Oh, you know, I was like moles Ted. Yeah. Moles Ted. You know, I knew it. Lucky. Okay, and this was this was for you, Esther. This was the original one for you. What does mine say? <gasps> Skull fuck. And then mine says molested, oh but no, no, no. She didn't think that was good enough. She goes, I didn't want to be rude, so I didn't make this one. And I go, make it. So she came back. She came back with another one. For me? Yeah. Oh my God. This one's good. She gets us. Miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you killed it. I'm sorry I don't know your name, but Amy with the big tits in oh Austin. She's on Kill Tony. I'm lot. so lucky. Awesome. Thank you. Now, um, Oh my God, skull fucked in miscarriage. Literally, I'm so happy. I'm going to just say the term new comic. New comic. That's a good that one. Yeah, 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 you. yeah. Okay. But she was great. And um, we all partied at, so Tony Hinchcliffe was, was house sitting for this billionaire. Okay? Love it. Wait, who Love was? It. Tony He's Hinchcliffe. Always okay. House sitting okay, it was this beautiful house. I mean, maybe He's a millionaire because there were only like Wait, four Wait, is that rooms. a gig that you can sign up for? Like, like, can how I just happen? tell you how weird this Tony, was? It just happens, I think. Can I tell you how weird this was? He took me on a, on a, on a tour of the house and upstairs <laughs> there's a room with a, a painting of Tony in it. A painting of Are Tony. Are we sure he's in a just house, house sitting? Yes, or I'm gonna say millionaire, but multi-millionaire. And, and, but as the Joker, I'm like, this is weird. But people, Tony is like, there are people obsessed with him. He's the Angeline This is why he's never, he's Texas. never gonna leave Texas. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so, so I get there and Tony has a new, do you have the video? Okay, so Tony has a new 2021 Corvette. No, Corvette. Okay, Carlos, it's you can yellow. All see all your text. So this is me and Maybe. this is me and Todd showing up at his showing up at his mansion mm -hmm. in a newer better Corvette that I rented. That <laughs> <laughs> Look how red his face is. What do you think, Tony? This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh my god. We blocked in his Corvette. Oh my God, Annie. Oh my God, you truly <laughs> upset him. <laughs> I think he handled it the best that Tony could. Wait, that's his Corvette in the back? Yes, the yellow one. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my God, he's upset. So later, no, we ended up having so much fun. So later, Tony has a- Oh my God, Donna threw up. Oh, poor baby. Bigger than her entire body, by the way. You're oh, overfeeding God. this dog. Okay. Poor baby. Carlos, what Come do we do? Here. Oh, my God. You are so unbelievable. Is she okay? Oh, Carlos, what do we do? You're obviously Car cleaning it up, right? Carlos. Carlos, you're not doing the part we wanted you to do. Carlos, just... you need to help. I'm helping with donuts. Like Nobody. He's yelling at you. He starts feeding her out. Why are you kissing her so romantically? Is she okay? She's fine. She needs something weird. Oh, poor baby. Oh my God, Esther's like, oh, she put one foot down. So there's no pressure on the foot. There's no pressure on the foot. It's it's hovering. <laughs> you know what I call you? I don't know if I've told you this. I call you a lovable potato. That's how I describe you. She's like this lovable potato. She just rolls around. You gotta push her. It's just, I'm, it's more just cause that's what Dave would do. She could be overexcited too. Okay. Like, she know. liked my prank on Tony. She's not into Corvettes. <laughs> Honestly, squatting down that low to get into a car is more humiliating than your dog vomiting in front of you. 
squatting down that low. Did you like, how long did you keep it? Did you go on joy? We had like, yeah, town? we had like three, three what, days. Was it crazy? Like, was it exciting? Did you feel fancy? You go like, it's too, it actually is like too flashy. You're like, oh, you're yeah. like driving around this small ass town. Like, is it um speed, more speed Carl than speed. comfort? You well, my say? Tesla goes so fast that I don't. Oh, that's right. It wasn't. I wasn't as. I didn't drive it. I just had Ty drive it. I was like, I paid for it, so I was like, I don't want to have to pay the insurance when I fucking crash it. But um, yeah, we had fun. It was fun. It was a convertible, so we had some fun in it. But later, so Tony has this. I don't know what you call him. Like, I don't know if he's like his assistant. He's got this right hand man, this guy Yoni, who is like everybody needs a fucking Yoni. Okay? I know Tony you love that. Tony has a right hand man named, named Yoni. Yoni. Tony and Yoni. Yoni. Okay, That's I show so up to cool. this house. This is how bad Tony is like crushing it there and how bad he wants to like get, like he, there was a carpet rolled out for me. I think this is just how it happens, but it felt like a specific car red carpet rolled out for yeah. me. We show up to this mansion, okay? There's a there's an infinity pool looking wow. off into the river. It's, um, he had the girl with the big tits there, which was very fun to see, to look at them float around. And um, it was... It was incredible, right? It was already like this beautiful, amazing place. Wait, Drinks, did you guys get to stay there? Drugs. Or? No, we stayed with our friends that, and they, they're like the best, ho like you feel better. Like they would treat you better than your parents in your basement. Mm -mm -mm. Like it's like my friend Carrie Mitchell and, and Brett Erickson we stayed with who, they're the ones we go to like the desert party with. They're like in the Stanhope world. Mm. And, but anyway, so they, we stayed with them, but we, we, we went over to Tony's to party after shows and stuff. And, it was so fun. And then in the kitchen was $600 worth of king crab legs that Yoni, after shows, cooked up for us. There was also a spread of fajitas. But did she amazing. know that you like crab legs? Yoni's a boy. Did he know that you like? <laughs> the, the, I don't, I think this is just how Tony lives, but it felt, it felt tailored to me. Wait, was, so Tony has like a person. He has a person that we could all dream of. Like Carlos could never do what Yoni does. And this is, he would never, he would never do it. I mean, it's not an insult to you. Yeah. But no, Esther's trying to make you into a Yoni out. and it's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is Esther. You're going to cream when you hear this. Tony, I would watch Tony like eating something and he would get a little dribble. A napkin would be handed to him. Okay. Yoni this is, weird. is not it's just, a, but listen, you might think it's psychotic. Yoni cooked up this stuff. He made a special butter sauce. It was like a gourmet meal, okay? Yoni is a videographer. He, he <laughs> is filming all the sets, all the shows, making everything happen. Do you know what Yoni had at three in the morning after I'd been doing uh, a special kind of drug that Kalila went to a doctor to do? <laughs> <laughs> all night, I could not believe what was happening. He had two... Uh, smoke bombs, the color of yellow and red, the same colors of our of the Corvettes. Tony and I did this epic photo shoot where Todd was like pulling these like smoke bombs of the same color. He like just has everything. It just was so amazing. What is this arrangement they have? Yeah, how much is, is Yoni getting? Um, I really hit? tried to well, find out. How does he out. call? How much does I he asked cost? Tony and he said, I don't know. Tony said, I don't know, my business manager handles it. Wow. It's just, obviously, it's this is weird for me. You're telling me about my ex-boyfriend's new life. And it's way uh -oh. better without you. My mom <laughs> well, that's always Well, the, the fact that you're someone that needs someone to wait on you, and so is he, there's no way you could have both. Right. Yeah, no, You're both right. like pillow princesses. Yeah, that, wow. This is And I wild. did so much of that special thing all weekend. <laughs> I, my shows were amazing. Friday night were so good. Sold out, epic, made way more than I make on a weekend. Don't know why we're doing weekends, by the way. Why are we not just doing rock clubs and making so much money? But anyway, it was so fun. Fans were amazing. Shows were incredible. Duncan came to the shows. I was hanging out with Duncan and his wife, Duncan Trussell and his wife, Erin. It was like oh, heavenly. Ron White came over to the mansion. It was like, it was just bliss. Like, it was so much fun. Sayla, Tony's better replacement. <laughs> I believe um, it. Peace She's a love. yoga Peace instructor. My hip was hurting. I'm on that special thing. <laughs> She's giving me a fucking yoga lesson outside, like by oh, this infinity wow. pool. Why does every guy replace me with a yoga instructor? It's getting <laughs> weird. Because you aren't flexible. I am flexible. I'm weak. Maybe that's though. what it is. Yeah. You're not. You're, you're a fake not. weak. Yeah, person. you're fake weak. I saw you're she didn't even attempt to oh, put her yeah. foot down on the ground. I bet you you could deadlift more than any one of us. That's you not could do Romanian deadlifts. I, I I guarantee it. Aside from Oh yeah, Other can I see Carlos, the videos? Who, mm -hmm. 
What are our options for your replacement? I was not in on this. I did I sign off on you being replaced? I'm not sure. Well, we'll no, see if anyone's you would have enough. to sign something. That's if, first of all, that's <laughs> not true. Kalila wouldn't it's have put to, to a sign vote. something. It's, it, Hello, Imad. My name, sorry, my name is Imad. A uh, big fan through the Tiger Belly universe. I'm a truck driver, so podcasts are like a lifeline that saved me from the deathly boredom of driving like eight, ten hours a day. I love the positive energy. I do energy. think your show is yes. awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I think Annie is one of the funniest podcasters out there. Not rambling anymore. Uh, Not rambling. <laughs> Keep it up. So Keep talking. chatting. <laughs> Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> Say it again. More detail. I don't like that he's a mad because we need someone who can let things roll off their shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cranky. <laughs> I love her. Uh, Kalila, great too. Uh, just the whole show is awesome. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm liking what I'm Carlos hearing here. Kalila, great too. And that's that's it. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Annie I don't think Kalila he should have gotten up and left. I, it, was, it, was, it was entertaining because, you know, it created like kind of like a weird dynamic. Wait, what's he talking about here? <laughs> and Annie dealt with it by making jokes. But Esther oh. was really affected. That's why I didn't like it because he, he, he really, you can see the. He like, heard his master. Shout out to Pete. He brought up that news story that created some kind of like a different a talking point, something to um, get the show. He did his job. Along. This guy, like. Yeah, it was so, weird how he just did his job. Isn't um, it incredible, Pete? Thank yeah, you. I don't want to replace Carlos. I don't think he should be replaced at all. I think what he did was uh, overreactive, overreaction. <laughs> uh, I think you should appreciate what he has. You know, he has a chance to like be on a podcast. Thank you so much for saying it. The ego's gotten out of control, just like the hair. Wait, but I why why was I ruined it somehow? Um, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> the he term was, he used was affected. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He, you didn't ruin it. He felt he said it was bad what he did because it made you made upset. You, yeah, it yeah, upset it was you. Like feeling for you. Oh my God, I'm the victim. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> we all got what we wanted. <laughs> I'm funny, Kalila's great, and you're a victim. <laughs> All right. That's like the ultimate thing I can ask her. Great too? That's all <laughs> I want in life. Great too. I don't need any more yeah, yeah. They don't, But you know what, Kalila? They don't get to see you in your fucking element, okay? They, they don't. don't see you with those these shoulders flopping around. Wait, speaking of you shoulders. You got your fins. Annie, I can't lift my right shoulder past this point. I have torn my labrum. So no, my shoulders oh, aren't. I think these shorts are tearing my labor as well. <laughs> yeah, I tore my. I think I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, but I haven't been able to lift my left shoulder like past this in two weeks. From so, too many hand jobs. Way too many. No, did it happen? I'm a lefty. I did it possible... chart, Did it happen during uh, working out, or did you wake up with it? No, I was pulling back like bands on a spear uh -huh. gun for five straight days, and I did one yoga class, and then after that, it was I couldn't sleep anymore. But oh my god, is this recommendation? Wait, for can you? we just see how she just said? I was doing it for five days straight and she said it really fast, like, that shot's fired. What do you mean? That you're like, I can't lift my head. And she's like, <laughs> for fucking five days straight. I was fucking... <laughs> She but would then, kill you. She would pray. You would be. No, oh, I don't dead. think so. I think her low center of gravity is really something to watch out for. Oh, I not look, with a spear gun. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't use that weapon um, against my poor little baby fish. Yeah, no. but what about my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> they are sharper than mine. I think my I gaps might be a detriment. <laughs> also, those sharp white things on the side of your mouth will probably like, cut us. <laughs> the smell yeah. will disarm you. <laughs> What is this? Who is this? It's another guy who wants Ooh, to replace okay. me. Oh my god, he's looking good. Better hair than Carlos. Yep. Hey guys. What's up? Just sending in my video to be uh, Carlos' replacement. <laughs> um, I have a list here of uh, my superior uh He's quality. I love him. Carlos is actually mad. Look at his face. I just thought I should He's share them soothing. With you. Soothing, uh huh. Um, first of all, I'm fat. And Carlos is seething. <laughs> so that's awesome for you guys because now you don't ever have to worry about being like body shamed or anything. That's like such that, a good point. Cupcake you're, shamed. If you're near me, like, I'll be the center of like. You know, we pay Carlos Wait, yeah, to maybe, fat shame us, honestly. Maybe Carlos's <laughs> weight is like, he's too skinny for He's us. hungry. That's why he's so upset. He's hungry. I, I'm always hangry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, so number one, his qualities he listed. He says he's fat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, that's a good one. Wait, can I also just pause and say thank you so much for being a skinny person, admitting that you're hangry? Because I'm so sick of skinny people pretending like they're okay. So thank you. 
as Esther withers away in her chair. <laughs> <laughs> to dust. Esther has a bite of sushi every day <laughs> on Carlos's orders. I wish I had Shake Shack this week. Mm. Lettuce wrap, don't worry. <laughs> He's like, I'm not slipping. <laughs> uh, I'm lazy. Ooh. So I don't work hard. Big plus. Uh, Very Carlos. I feel like that's a benefit because now you'll feel like so productive. <laughs> next to me. That's always a, that's always This nice. is like me on a first date. Um, <laughs> poor. That's great. Love to be around people who are in debt, uh, but I'll never ask you for anything. I'll just, uh, uh, I'll just complain a lot. I'll give you, once one of these crystals um, falls off, I'll give it to you. <laughs> you can have one of my Swarovskis. <laughs> I love this Dumb. guy. I'm definitely not intelligent at all, so you can. Uh, he fully fits in. He's smart. Us. He's so full of shit. You can, like, woman explain things to me left and right. Oh, mm -hmm. fun! And, uh, that's like a that's like a bit of a role reversal. That's always popular. <laughs> uh, Wait, it. is this my new guy? He is describing your favorite attributes. <laughs> he kind of is, or what I'm used to. Yeah. <laughs> Take this, Esther, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I grabbed him first. You can take my sloppy second. I'm jealous. <laughs> She's not going to be able to reach out. Esther will be like that. I'll have to hold her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my there god go. she's always like um this girl i've seen her several times and she's always like i wanted esther to grab my boobs but... i will oh jesselnick uh talked about this week on his podcast about how someone clipped him from his trash tuesday episode saying how all these like third and fourth parties that clip our shows how they're just scams hopefully people paying attention will, will do that um and then reaction videos where people will take a video podcast and then do a podcast where they play it and then react to it. I was on a, a podcast called Trash Tuesday. But they don't, last they, week. they're not reacting to their own podcast, are they? They're reacting to, like, they'll do one of us we sound where they play so a clip. Old. And then they, and it's like these guys, like, I saw some, uh, I got a Google alert that was like, Anthony Jeselnik trashes Norm MacDonald. And I'm like, what? Oh my oh, gosh. I did. And I click on it, and it's these two guys I've never seen before, like in a setup just like this, and they're playing clips of me on this other podcast. I didn't even watch it. I just I saw them pop up, and I was like, "What is this? What There's is no happening? way they like, didn't no. watch it. They just do a podcast I where they talk about, he's they recap what you did on another podcast, and then they get views. Mm. It's a fucking scam. well. You're giving him. By the way, you know what I said about Norm McDonald? I think nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a podcast where the, the girls interesting was on conversation last comic about all this too is that like, why do we have to? put a dead person immediately into sainthood when they've passed. Also, and, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that's, we didn't even, I don't know him. Nobody even talked shit him. on Norm. Yeah. yeah. He We're was saying, saying real no, shit. No, but I think, wait, can I just tell you what's happening? I think, listen, the one way to get on these clips is to mention the clip. So we'll, all, this is all going to be clipped. He's going to be clipped. This is going to be like an inception of Ugh, like clips yeah. and stuff. <laughs> it's just your choice whether so you want to have Google God, alerts on or not. Me. But Clip also, me. it's like you can't no, listen. Clip I, this is I have a hot take. Okay, I have a hot take. <laughs> I want to be clipped so bad. Annie. It's so pathetic. You make me clip. I will fucking clip you, bitch. <laughs> I um. Norm Macdonald deserved to die. <laughs> Clip me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm just kidding though we made up we ha me and norm did have a fight but we did make up oh my god it doesn't count when you talk to his corpse bitch no no we made up <laughs> esther went to the funeral and and told the fucking casket she I gave him told you guys can i just tell you he doesn't he, he didn't care whether you made up or not can i just it. say something You're right about that? because when i when i approached him to make up with him he said we got into a fight he's like why would i get into a fight with you and i was like okay yeah you know what? it's like for all of us right it's like you kind of just say something one day then you move on and you feel another thing and you don't even remember half of the things you say so it's like we just shouldn't be taking anything personally i will say this though i think we have a job where we are public figures we get a lot of perks it's really fun we get to do a lot i think um, it's like when I look at like the award ceremonies with celebrities and, and they're like, we don't want the, the host to be mean to us. It's like, they have to be mean to you mm -hmm. because you have to counter it all. So even though our good egos call. get our feelings hurt and stuff, it's good to have people clip stuff out. It's good to have people talk shit on us because it, there has to be a balance. Right. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like fucking clip. Well, I, I It's just I agree. our choice whether we want to watch it or whether we want to be like hurt by it. Or I think it's, it can be harmless, but I think it's. It's like in, it probably if you're Anthony and you you're you see this thing where it says that you like trash someone that you didn't trash, you're probably just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, it's all good. It's all good for our spiritual growth. 
<laughs> to do this. But it's also just like, you can't knock something that is getting the views, right? Because What's wrong? It, it is working. Randy just shows up. Oh, there's the mailman is here. Uh, the mailman? What is this? The this so hacky. How hacky is that? For a dog to bark at the mailman? <laughs> Donut, you hack. You prefer um, me. No, but I do think it's like, it's it's like, it's fair game. Yeah. No, it, it is fair game. And, you know, if you're up for... They want to be trash, know. trash us, that's their life. Listen, it, when you start fucking shitting on people... People shit on you back. Things go back and forth. We could be like, we don't deserve it. Okay, then we don't deserve it. it. We don't listen to it. It doesn't. I'm not saying it's good what they're doing, but it's just like it is. It is a fair game, but it doesn't mean that there's a whole lot of like there's not a whole lot of suffering happening on both sides. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Like it's evident what that dynamic is. Yeah. It's like the person writing it to the person receiving it. There's a whole lot of like unsettled shit. Yeah, and like well. Carlos pulled this up. Pete Davidson, say for instance, says he's been in trauma therapy due to Kanye West's online harassment. Like I can only imagine uh, the tiny bits and pieces of like hatred that I get compared to someone who really is right. in the spotlight like that. I mean, that cannot no, be good for anybody. There's no way. It's it and I can't even what I think about now is like all the teen pop stars like from when we were younger and all the th horrible things that were said about them. And this was like before that was more of a universal but, experience. And you couldn't like get it to like it didn't get to you as mm -hmm. easily. You could block it out. More. Right, right. But like, can you be like they must have been so fucked up, right? Like. Well, also, they didn't have a way to counter anything. Yeah. So it's like they, their PR people probably had to kind of do that work for them. Whereas now you have the option to speak directly to your fans and be like, look, I didn't fucking do that. Yeah. Or this and that. But all the while, you're still maybe, you know, stoking that fire even more by... Because it's like if, if someone is committed to not liking you, there's nothing you can say or no, do no, to no, change no, But also lives. they don't know you. And it's so not it's about like, you. Yeah, it yeah. has nothing to do with you. And it's like, I don't want to sound like... I don't want to like sound like I'm not being like sensitive to like th that you get have been getting like a lot of shit. Yeah. But it's like we just have no control over what people are going to do and how they're going to take our words and stuff. We just have control over this and like how we feel and what we put out. And we have to just be stronger than because there's nothing you can do. It's like it's fucking. But it is hard unless it's like you know true defamation or whatever. It's it's. But hard. look, I'm not but, getting canceled for rape. You're not getting canceled yeah. for fucking you know um and you know dry banging a 13 year old. You're not doing like we're we're just you know we our mouths get us in trouble. We get a lot of certain hate for it. People don't like our personalities or whatever. But it's like we're we're not you know there's there's far worse things out there. Oh, and yeah. I'm okay we're just with being outspoken and people don't like that yeah. and they're being outspoken. We're getting mad at them for being outspoken because it's it's like cute thanks guys yeah. like thanks for watching like you obviously you're gonna like shit on us or whatever who cares yeah. it's just it's like who cares it's like i stand by the shit i say I, I like who i am i like how i act if i'm like if i'm getting resistance it's like todd always says in video games it's like when you're getting to the next level <laughs> you re you get the most um uh the bad guys boss. yeah the hardest the, boss yeah so it's like what are you gonna do yeah todd is that's a good right way to again. put it yeah but i mean he probably watched it on a movie. sometimes i'm like watching a movie and it's like all the things todd has said to me like, oh, <laughs> i thought about yeah. something about todd and how he's very like a very like doting wonderful partner and there was this tiktok that i saw where the lady's like if there's one thing i look for in a guy is whether or not um he does something for you when it's inconvenient to him mm. and i'm like Oh my Ooh, God, that's it. Like new test. That is like the ultimate green flag, I think, when someone does something for you, even though it's inconvenient to them. How about you're getting paid? Um, <laughs> how about Banana how right? about when like small things, you know, like um, it's out of my way, but I'm gonna do it anyway. No, how about when Todd's already in bed and I'm still up and I'm like, I need water. He'll like literally get up from bed. <laughs> He's the best. But see, okay, counterpoint is. I don't really want to do things for my partner when they're inconvenient for me. So I don't want to request that of him because I don't want to. It depends what kind of demands, Esther. If you're just like, <laughs> I need a freaking strawberry pie from this Ohio delicatessen. <laughs> That's crazy. Fuck you for Rhubarb. knowing what it was <laughs> that I wanted. <laughs> no, honestly, 
I'm telling you, I did the best thing when Todd and I decided 90-10. It's just across <laughs> the board, 90-10. Well, you know what is actually really good advice that Dave gave me early on was... To shut the fuck up and stop <laughs> asking me for things? <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you guys that the other day we, we had dinner and I got it from dinner and he goes, all right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 like, I was like, okay, well, well played. Like, he just didn't want to see me the rest of the night. <laughs> um, he gave me... He actually, he gave me relationship advice that he said he had heard before that always assume that you're going to do 60% and they're going to do 40% so that you're never like mad at them or resent them. For like, him to be saying that to you is so funny. I, <laughs> and you, you were like, you said, what was it? 96% and 4% that I do. <laughs> but I think you like being like told no. Yeah. No, I'm like a dog. I want boundaries yeah. and discipline. I do. I am mm -hmm. I am a dog. Oh. And you guys don't have to talk about this, obviously, if you don't want to. I, just well, I feel like go. you're forcing your hand here. So I don't want to talk well. about Let's not talk no, about that's, comedians anymore. Okay. If we can avoid yeah. it. Okay. The only reason I brought it up because like John Oliver made fun of him. It went mainstream, so I thought. What did John Oliver say? He made fun of him for, yeah. Well, I mean, the long-term girlfriend thing. We asked thing. what he said. You, okay, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I don't remember Sanya, his exact speak words. Your, speak your mouth. Speak what's in your head. <laughs> no <laughs> my aunt that's my answer he just so john oliver made fun yeah of he him. just made fun of him there's i'm not like you know gonna re just regurgitate it why you know? because you, you didn't read it because you didn't read it tell us the truth <laughs> no i watched it i don't want i didn't know if you, you don't remember you were high when this. you you of were high of course i was high, I'm high right <laughs> it's now. okay it's okay just tell the truth all time all we want is the <laughs> truth Wait, are we, so do we not, we're not talking about it? We're moving on? Are we, I just feel like, I mean, do you want to? It's, it's like, to me, it's like, where's the surprise? Yeah. We've known about them for a while. Yeah. It's funny to say longtime girlfriend when it's someone that's 23 and he's a, he was friends with her for, before she turned 18. Okay, <laughs> why are you friends with an 18, a 17-year-old? But we know. Yeah, I mean it's it's very self-explanatory. I feel like we don't need to, you know, give it a good deep dive because yeah. it's like it's it's. Do right I there. need to give myself fucking? Do I have to shadow box in the mirror before I go to every comedy club now? It's like I can't keep getting comic opponents. <laughs> Mind you, I'm a product of of a 36 year age gap, by the way. And um, when I ask my mom about like her love for my dad, it is a sincere, deep love, but it comes from a place of like, like he rescued me from an abusive marriage that I got into when I was 18. Um, and, you know, he was sort of my savior and I have a love for him in like a fatherly way. And she will explain it in that way. About your dad? About my father. I yeah. didn't know your mom was thrice married. That's so hot. Twice. Oh, she didn't marry she never Roger? Married my, no, Roger, they're not married, but sorry, Rog. She loves <laughs> Rog, you so done. much. She's done. But that's why she's staying with you. Yeah, but um, but yeah, you know, and so it's like they had a really great relationship and it worked out. But um, do I acknowledge that it probably was completely inappropriate for a 56-year-old man to rescue a 21-year-old 20, Filipina who he knew was probably living in abject, you know, poverty? She, she wasn't 17. <laughs> she right. wasn't 17. She wasn't 17. She wasn't a kid. Right. But still, it's like that age gap. It's like I very, I, I'm very clear about what that that dynamic was, and it doesn't mean there wasn't love down the road and yeah. sincere. But it, it, it wasn't in. Um, I don't know. How many years was it? Thirty six year gap. Oh my god! So your boyfriend right now would be one. Yeah, exactly. Your exactly. Man's one years old. But if you ask my mom, she speaks about him in a. I I will not love someone more than him, but in a very like. In the same way, like, you won't love anyone more than your dad. Like, that kind of way, so. Sorry, mom. I Dad's wonder, gone. it is a weird thing, because you're giving a different perspective on it. It's like. He was older than her dad. Yeah. So like, my dad was older than my grandfather. It's like, how can we have these experiences in our own life, but then be mad at that, but also mm -mm. it. Okay. I can, I'm over not at 18, it. 18 and over. I can yeah. have judgments about like an older guy dating a, a 18 to 21 yeah. year old, but that's just judgment. You're breaking the law. You're fucking kids. You're grooming kids. You're hitting on people that's, that are not developed, that do not have, they're not allowed to vote. They're not allowed mm -hmm. to do anything yet. They can't do anything. It's, you're, a, you're being a child molester or you're being a little bit 
questionable, but I I don't I only have the right to just have a judgment on that. Mm-hmm. If you're under 18, fuck you guys. That's yeah. fucked up. And to add to this, um, it it's not it's very different from the Dane Cook thing because it sounds like there was intent and like a long time to really read the situation and then going ahead with it anyways. My dad saw my mom getting dragged out by her hair by her first husband outside of a wedding venue. And my dad um, followed them. Oh my God. Um, followed the car that my mom was in that her husband had taken her in. Oh my and God. he held the man at gunpoint. Oh my God, that's the hottest and said, story ever. Don't fucking touch her again. He paid for her annulment. He paid for her because d- divorce is not legal in the Philippines. I want to fuck your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dig him up. Dig him what up, Esther. Fuck? Wait, this is but why Esther, I'm attracted to you. Esther, <laughs> if you fucked her dad, he is a corpse, you would have to do the work. <laughs> it's You're a right. no go. Too you dead. would literally you'd be you'd be skeleton fucking. <laughs> and and so basically it's like of course she was she felt such strong yeah. feelings about it at 22 he years old. Yeah. From a bad he was like this is a person that saved my actual life. Um so a little different than Saved your life too. And saved my life. I just I want to say something on this That's subject. really amazing. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. I'm like my parents met on a blind date. It's like, <laughs> "Dad, uh, step it up." <laughs> <laughs> like I think that I have some like deep-rooted anger and resentment around this subject and I've realized I think it comes from starting out in comedy as a young woman and just having so many men um bring up this idea and try to brainwash me with this idea that I would be worthless when I was older. And like, so I think that's, I just have this deep rooted anger. But what would they say? Like, what do you mean by like brainwashing? That you have a shelf life? Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, think about who I can only guess some of the people that might have been saying this to you. Well, from who we know mutually. I don't even think you like, okay. So the, Honestly, I'm just going to be really honest with you guys right now. Like a couple weeks ago, I was on a, a, a comedy lineup and it really made me say to like a lot of close people in my life, like, I think I'm going to quit stand up. Like, I just don't like how I feel when I see my face up with those other faces because one of all of them, I, I thought I'm not, I can't, whatever. One of them, one of them, when I first started stand up, fucking messaged me on Facebook Messenger, and this man was in his 40s or 50s. I was 21. He Facebook messaged me. I just started stand-up. He goes, hey, how old are you? I'm like 21. He goes, you're too old for me. This man is in his 50s at the time. And so then when I fucking see my name on a lineup with him, when I'm like, I'm 34, I'm like in my best moment in my career, I'm so happy, thriving, and I'm just like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be around these fucking Freako. Yeah. Can I counter this though? Yeah. Then you need to be on that lineup. I'm not saying like you have to, like I, there are clubs I don't even perform at because I don't want to mix my audience. I feel like I have this fucking incredible audience I'm growing from the show. We all do, right? These like fucking strong men, women, people that are like about getting better, being fucking their, their best selves, being themselves and shit, healing, getting better. Like I don't want them mixed in with some of these people that I know they're what they're doing to their audience is preying on them, using their power against them, doing like literally the opposite thing I'm doing. So I don't like to mix my audience with them. So I kind of stay away from certain places, which sucks, you know, but you know, maybe I can have my own night at these places and then I don't have to worry yeah. about it. But it's like, you can control the lineup, but but for you to tap out and not do it, something that you love, that your fans love, that you're like, I always look at like, instead of focusing on them and what they're taking, I try to focus on what I'm giving, right? Like shine the light brighter over them so you can't see it. That's really I think Annie's right. Like your existence is the resistance. You know, it's like you have to be there, Esther, or not this person has just won that same old game. But okay, can I ask you this, Annie? Like, do you ever see a like, a lineup or a group of people that you're gonna have to go be around to do stand up, and you're are you ever like I hate how that makes me feel? Does that ever bother you? I have not been in that situation in a long time because I've I stay where I'm I've been staying where I'm safe, you know. But sometimes that happens, you know. And what I try to do is I do jokes if I have to bring someone up that is maybe had some allegations or whatever. I do jokes about that topic. I close with top 
jokes about that topic. Mm -hmm. And then I go, you know them from so-and-so. And And then I bring them out. Because if they're (laughs) innocent, who cares that I'm making those jokes? And if they're guilty, they got to feel that Mm. awkwardness of the fact that they did do that to someone. But I do acknowledge that it probably isn't a great feeling for you to be there, except that the only way to even challenge the status quo is for you to be there. Yeah. I think that you are stronger than needing to let the outside source get you. Do, are you, they're bringing you up, you're bringing them up type thing? It's really, it was just like, I don't want to be associated with people like that. I'm oh like, I'm loving my life. Like, I love, I love girly stuff. Like, I don't know. I think it was just like, I don't want to be associated with like creepy old men anymore. I don't think they will associate you. You know what I mean? Like, because I do think like, be that voice on that lineup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can quit comedy if you want, but. Mm-mm, I won't let you. This isn't quite as important of a topic because it was just a fleeting moment in my life. But I was charged by a hungry shark for the first time in my life. I've always seen them around in like nine out of ten. Even of the dives. fucking ocean life is finding out she's single. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you'd be surprised how little action I'm getting. No one is really um, taking the bait. You're not the ready shark. yet. You're I'm not, not ready. Yeah. I think I'm putting out those vibes. You'll, but. you'll get whatever you want. You'll get whatever you want. <laughs> um, no, but it was the first time in my life where, like, you know, like, in you think about what a shark encounter is going to look like. And I've had so many of them. They've always been the cruising. You see a tiger shark. You see this. And you're like, oh, they're just around. But to see a shark come up, like, vertically while I'm swimming down and we're going for the same exact what? fish is really something. To see a shark just charge is- what? This is the perfect analogy for what you were just saying. It sounds like the exact same thing. You're like going for the same spot. The shark's coming at you. Right. And guess what, Esther? We basically, what I had to do was not turn away. I had to st- stand there and stick to my guns. And I didn't hurt the shark, right? I pointed my gun at it and it, it kind of bumped its face onto the tip of my gun and it turned away. I didn't hurt the shark, but he knew he had to turn away. She knew she had to turn away. She was a female. We were going after. What did she have fish. tits? How do you know? I'm just like, you how, just tell why didn't like, you get eaten by the shark? No, sharks don't eat fucking humans. That's why sharks are amazing. They eat a limb or two. Wait, what? The I, ecosystem collapses without sharks. We need sharks. Sharks are great. The story oh, is not to demonize sharks. It's just to tell you that this is just a regular diving encounter. Why does, oh my god, I just thought of the best horror movie, Demon Shark. Wait, but I feel like Kalila, that's against the message I'm trying to send here. Kalila is talking like she's been canceled before for saying a bad thing about a shark. I feel like there's a community. You never com- know anymore. Listen, listen, the comedy and podcast community going against her has kind of hurt her feelings. If the ocean life community goes against her. It's over. Her life is done. Okay? It's over for me. Um, no, but um, yes, you're right. It is the, the, the perfect exact- analogy. You're supposed to sort of show and assert your existence. Not in a violent way. I need to get strong. Like, I think... I, you are strong. I need to get... I Sometimes I'm weak and I just need to get what my dad sometimes. calls to be in a confronting mode, which mm. is like when he has the energy to like make a Karen phone call and like get something taken off his bill. <laughs> so like... I'm telling you, you got to shadow box. Sometimes I just shadow box before I go in. I need to just get in a confronting mode and be like, oh, you guys want to fuck with me? I'll... It'll... It's not yeah. every they time. They don't even mess with me. But they also, don't. every time you think about that, you're distracting yourself. Focus on growing your light, what you do. Every time you think about it, bring yourself back to like put it into your own shit. Yeah. Because it's external locus of control. You're letting all these outside sources. We have no control over people clip our fucking videos and shit. Right. It's like, you know what I mean? But there's this thing that um, Duncan had said to me on my podcast when I did my old podcast, Mean Inspiration. Also, my solo podcast is coming out in like a few weeks. I'm so excited. But um, it, I, someone reminded me of it because they were like, this has helped me so much. So what he said to me is there's this term called pronoia instead of paranoia yeah. where you think the world is against yeah. you. You look at it as the world's for you. So you're being presented with this like situation that's hard so that you can like learn how to kind of like not like shake it off yeah and i wouldn't even say it's hard it just makes me feel yucky yeah yeah but let's change how the i think we are we're already making the comedy scene different and i think that it's okay that it forever makes you feel yucky as long as you're not um letting it dictate or something as big as like quitting comedy right that's that's because that's your love yeah duncan this is on duncan duncan said this to me so this is on duncan (laughs) 
Pronoia is a form of denial that protects <laughs> that's the Duncan, fragile person's self. That's not Duncan self. Trussell. Pronoia is a form of denial that protects the fragile person's self-esteem from criticism and rejection. It can arise from persistently grandiose thinking and a narcissistic personality. <laughs> Would that not fit? Would that not fit? <laughs> I think this can be a really helpful tool when you're struggling with something like that. Yeah, just but be why like, no. would that even matter? I think that's yeah. bullshit, that thing. Why would it, if, if it helps you not no, feel like the world. that's a negative take on it. Because I, so like, I feel like paranoia is way more narcissistic. When you think everyone's, everyone's like thinking, against you, yeah. it's yes. so narcissistic. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy That's too. like people who are like, I just know I'm going to die in a plane crash like, and I can't fly. It's like you're, you think you're special. Let yeah, you think you're people God. off the hook. And I don't mean that it's like you're, you're not like forgiving their behavior or anything, but unhook them from you that these people are holding you down cut I, them off look at it as like this care. is a good lesson don't d yeah. focus just make yourself stronger if something really pisses you off write a joke about it i have a question Counter for it with you. a joke i have a question for you guys what are what is your take on um healthy hairs growing out of moles i know that it's a sign of healthy mm -hmm, moles so i just learned but um is it um is this the barrier and the reason why I haven't been dating anyone. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know. Carlos Should... gets on dates and his whole head is a hairy mole. <laughs> Should I pluck that Esther, hair out of that Esther, any excuse mole? for Esther to get close to your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I, you know, I I have one that, and I always pluck it. But that oh. I, I just want to say as someone who pays attention to skin mm -hmm. stuff, it's a misshapen mole. Do you need to get it looked yeah. at? Um, no, I think no. with hairs, it's uh, oh, yeah. because of the hair. No, because you, you're following, you're correct, Esther. A, B, C, D, E. A, symmetry. B for border. C for color. D for diameter. Oh, my God. You're talking about our vaginas? Oh, my God. <laughs> <For moles. laughs> but this has stayed the same size since I was a oh, kid. Okay. And there's just a big mole there and maybe, you know. <laughs> that one um chat of a friend a that thing. I have who drinks like monster drinks and like punches walls and stuff, he's just like... That's fucking gross. You take that fucking hair Who out of your mouth. Who is this guy? Yeah, you gotta stop hanging out with all these people. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say this because I have always had this little tiny judgment where I'm like, maybe Kalani needs to cut some of these people off. <laughs> you got too many lifelong friends. You're not. You're supposed to have like one or two lifelong friends. I hadn't traveled with him in a while, and he. This is what he said to me like before a, one of our excursions out in the world. He. I was wearing. I mean, Annie probably would have said something similar because she wants me to. She wants to boost me up, not bring me down. But he did say that. I was wearing sweatpants and um, a thermal, which I thought I'm like, it's kind it's of Esther. cool out. Very cute. It's I was just saying, Bannon. sounds sexy to it's me. Yeah, Bannon. everything oversized. And before I walk out the door, he was like, you're going to wear that? Because you're just going to meet a friend of mine for the first time. That's what you're going to wear? Oh my God. I'm like, yeah. I kind of want to do like a sit down general meeting with him and see what he has to say about <laughs> yeah, me. let's bring him on the show. <laughs> like, I want him to do me. Where does he live? I'm in America. I can't say. Let's fly him in. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i came up with a segment plan b if hollywood doesn't work out but it's like us our plan b's for each other okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. now oh no if you tell can me you pick up can you pull up the synopsis of the movie the orphan devastated by the loss of their unborn baby kate and john decide to adopt a child at the orphanage both feel drawn to a little girl named esther oh <laughs> and soon the couple take their new daughter home oh. But when a dangerous series of events unfolds, Kate begins to suspect that there is something evil lurking behind the child's angelic exterior. <laughs> yeah, that she's exterior. 34. <laughs> that she's 34. If Holly, I'm not saying for you to get cast in this. I, I want you to do saying. this in real life. Wait, someone. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Wait, didn't this happen to a couple it in did. like Ohio? And no. they, they yes. adopted a child from like a, a, a Russia or something. And they later found out that she was actually like 22 years old. Or the little girl, the girl, oh, the little yeah. girl that was sick. That she was like, I'm sick and a little girl. And it's like, she was like 40 and not sick at all. She you know what? Girl. I'll even just put this, put this out there as a pitch. If anyone wants to knowingly adopt a 34-year-old woman who will pretend to be a child. We'll do no chores though. <laughs> but I think your best bet is Sia. She who, like, adopted like 34-year-old black men. It's like, you cannot make them do one chore or it becomes pretty questionable. <laughs> <laughs> they better not have done one chore, Sia. <laughs> Here's the article, Kalila. Okay, so, um, <laughs> oh my God. Oh so my. Indiana mother who adopted a six-year-old Ukrainian girl with dwarfism has been charged with abandonment but claims her daughter was found to be a 22-year-old sociopath masquerading as a child. That's it, Esther. Plan Esther, B. Because Esther would also sue them and be like, <laughs> you abandoned me. She yeah. would somehow win. Annie, is that not Esther? Scroll down. Honestly, it looks like me. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> 
<laughs> look at the mother. Does the mother not look exactly like me? That's me. Oh my God, you scammed this me. This is though. our story. <laughs> and oh this God. is our story. So oh. oh my she's God, so she's, so, she's so cute. But I guess she tried to kill the parents. Oh, <laughs> See, I won't do that. This is such I a I would love cute, to just, I'll call her. I'll just sit and, I literally sat and colored last night. So. <gasps> oh, you did? Yeah. What did you color? Do you have a picture of it? Uh, Was this no. like art therapy? I just, I, sometimes I, at night I paint or I color. Uh, since ever since I retired from stand up eight days ago, <laughs> I color now. Um, you want to adopt me? You seem like you like oh that. Oh my God. How soon is it going to be till you announce you're in trauma therapy, by the way? <laughs> if I ever went to trauma therapy, you would never hear about it. What It'd is trauma deepest. therapy? I didn't know it existed. Um, is it just therapy? Trauma therapy, yeah. I think that that's just regular therapy since we all have trauma but yeah no, but they have intensive ones that um bobby has been a part of where you go in for a week oh and yeah you do 12 hour days of just facing your trauma i did it. that for oh, i thought it was just stuff. facing uh, <laughs> uh that would what my trauma yes. would look like that <laughs> i was thinking about this is very controversial this is an idea i came up with i just pitched it to a friend she didn't like it oh <laughs> no 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 this would end up with me getting like pulled off a yacht and arrested but um <laughs> obsessed what if i made a like and maybe this already exists. If you had a, someone, if you had someone rape you to get okay. over being raped, like mm -hmm. if you're like, I, I mean, I think people do this. Yeah. yeah. But if you're like, okay, to the therapist, you're like, you're going to rape me. I'm going to say no. But because I previously consented, we can get through it. I realized I survived. Reenactment, basically. Yeah. yeah people do that all rape the time. Rape reenactment. Don't they? Yeah. They, they, pretending fantasy. that's not her fucking no. porn. No, Annie, that's exactly what they do at the trauma, um, the the center that. But they don't really like finger you, do they? No, but they basically reenact the whole thing with a different outcome. Yeah. Um, Where you actually come? <laughs> so hard, wow. hardest you've ever come Finally. in your life. <laughs> Just jizz on the walls. <laughs> um, I have a present. Okay. For Kalila. Oh my goodness! I can't wait. I. Better Order. than this blow up okay. doll, which I will later be humping. All right. I hope it's the right size. Um, don't be offended. It's because I, I have, bought two. I have gained just as FYI, which I'm happy about. But I have um, put on some weight oh since my, God, my so shoulder high. injury. You better In cozy the up to Carlos. <laughs> So Esther and I both have one of these, so now we can be matching in a skin slut it's dress. It's my favorite dress. Do you know how? Wait, should we all wear it at one yes. time for yes. an episode? Yeah. How much my vagina is almost showing when I wear that dress? <laughs> it's so short on me. I have to know though. How did you accidentally buy two? Listen, I go, I I black out when I do a new skin. <laughs> Annie, I'm when I get that email, when I get that email that says we got a new. Uh, but everybody fits everybody in. I'm I black out. I order, order, order. I thought that I had, I I did two orders in one week. Okay, so these were still available on both order, which is not. Which is rare. I did order that already. I already ordered that one and the purple one. I get oh. them too. The emails. The girls. I bought the bandos, the neon bando ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not a good. Did. Wait. Oh, I have too much of like this. I do I, too, but I love that part. I, I wouldn't so mind cute. fuckable because of the sweaty armpits. I Comes love little lube. fat pads by the armpits. It's so cute fat and sexy pads. to me. I That's what we should call you, you a fat pad. <laughs> You're a fat pad. I wouldn't mind if like every time everybody ordered from Skims, they'd throw that on the group text just so we're all aware of what everybody's <laughs> getting. Like I wouldn't mind. I'll just You say lost that. those privileges. I used to tell you every time. <laughs> <laughs> you lost them. If I ever get, I'm on my fucking self-help walk, I'll kill you. <laughs> I never even reached out to this bitch anymore. When you, you guys... get rejected when someone's on a walk, <laughs> the best time to talk. Um, do we have more time? Yeah. Okay, so I've been doing this new thing where in the morning, to get in touch with my spiritual side, I pull different cards, okay? This seems like I'm setting up a joke. It's not. But I do three different cards each morning. I do a tarot card. I don't know what any of them mean. I have to look at all of these up. I do a tarot card. I do one of these cards. It's called an I am everything affirmation deck. Oh, I love that one. And I do an animal card. So I was thinking maybe we do these on the episodes. Yeah. Our cards pre -episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we? Should we do it now or save it? I like it? the I, I am everything. It. I feel like I could I, I, use the, one I am of these everything, cards I think, today. Is the, and okay. it's the easiest one, too. Do you want me to shuffle it for you first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I choose it. That's the card yeah, I Yeah, but Ori, why don't you shuffle it and then pull one up? 
my urge to shuffle it like a a dealer is my urge to shuffle it for you was really psycho when i grabbed it when you pulled it and i pulled it back i was like ooh, shuffling issues. is fun <laughs> okay here's i I'm always get to shuffle now. because i play by myself <laughs> that's what we call your run your shuffle you know i played um <laughs> solitaire a lot growing up and my lonely um times i play yeah i used to have to like invent ways to make games that were supposed to be for multiple players for one <laughs> No one fucking play with me. Okay. This is so great. This is exactly what I needed. I'm not even lying. I'm not trying to be facetious. I am aware. When I pay attention to my surroundings, I can feel appreciation for everything. I see so much beauty in the world. Being aware means living in the present and fully experiencing my life in the here and now. I am aware. Remember when Dr. Drew says, if you're in a heightened sense of like, like just, um, you're, you're not present. You're not here, right? Which is like one of my biggest problems. But this is what I really need. I love Thanks, that. Annie. That's a very relatable problem, by the way. What a great feeling, by the way, to be like fully aware and present. Everything around you just dissolves. Mm. What about like, have you ever done, I've been doing a lot of like hypnosis and like meditations where you you feel like a light inside you grow. Oh, it feels so good. Really? You can, like light your whole body up. It feels amazing. Mm -hmm. She does it to me. I'm on fire. Okay. <laughs> I know. Air conditioning. I am bold. I speak my truth in mm. a loving way. My courage to communicate my needs is powered by love for myself and love for others. I am bold. Now that one. That, you got to keep yeah, doing I, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> you have no choice. That's a good one. I love Esther just shoehorning a, a fake idea to quit comedy. <laughs> She's just sick of traveling. <laughs> All right, mine is I am open. Vulner vulnerability is my strength, not my weakness. Mm -hmm. My openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good. When I lean into my feelings, I am honoring my truth. When I communicate my feelings in a loving way, I'm speaking my truth. I am open. Also, like my underwear and skims are open as well. <laughs> my pants, I it, the amount of labe I have showed during this thing is <laughs> shocking. <gasps> These are beautiful. Are they Thanks, so good? Annie. This is fun. So we can just Wait, have these. What is our plan B for you if Hollywood doesn't work out? Esther, should we come up with Because you're going to be an I orphan. know. I should have warned you guys about this to think about it. I, I like I, ranch, something working on a cattle range. You're like being a full lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> with me. <laughs> I would love to work on a cattle ranch. Do you know what I fell asleep to last night? Uh, Legends of the Fall. Oh, oh my God. God! That movie is like the Fuck only like me up. he's so Tristan. Hot. He's it's the Tristan. worst Tristan. You guys, you gotta rewatch it. He's literally the worst human being of all time. I Why know, do they do this? Everything. My so-called life, Jared Leto's character. Uh, this like the same like where you're just like this is the hottest person I've ever seen in my life. He is the worst guy. Really? Do you know that uh, he, he leaves abandoned his wife. his wife? He leaves his wife. Okay, he abandons her. This woman. He abandons this woman who's in love with him. He leaves her. He goes traveling on mm -hmm. a boat. Takes He's, opium? No, not just takes opium. He kills animals. They yes. show him killing no. like zebras. Well, because like when that. Samuel died and Samuel, Samuel got killed and got stuck in the barbed wire. And he yes. was like, Tristan. And, and then, then Tristan was triggered. like, Samuel. You, that scene. And then he was so traumatized that he decided to traumatize his own whole family by right. going off and exploring the world, taking opium, killing animals, and being like just a fucked up. He, yeah, oh. he, comes, he keeps leaving and coming back, and this woman's like so in love with him. And and he's like, I, like she's like, he must just not be able to love. And then he just falls in love with the way younger mm -hmm. girl who kind of looks like Kalila. <laughs> Ew, Kalila, so you should date Brad Pitt. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, wait. Way. I'm not even kidding. It's totally doable. It's very easy. Easily oh, my God. Done. We're going to get Brad Pitt. You guys are about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you easy. Guys. It's so I easy. I knew we were going to get Brad Pitt, but I didn't know it was because Kalila was going to date and marry him. <laughs> yeah. Get your tits back, bitch. Set it up. No, I actually, he stopped. Angelina Jolie got her boobs after him. I well, think. she had her boobs removed. Yeah, yeah, but there were still the boobs. Yeah, no, yeah, but she I know it was boobs. for a good reason, but it was yeah. No, but uh, her boobs are good. They're just not fake. They're just yeah, small and a little bit misdirected. But that's <laughs> fine. He maybe he's into so that. Are your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but this way, my go eyes go this way. If Brad Pitt is into cross eyes but diverse trabism, Brad, uh, <laughs> oh Brad, he's Jeter, our new lover. daddy. He's Braddy gonna... daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Brad! She's gonna take Brad Pitt. What if I get? He's sober. You love sober guys. 
Brad. <laughs> Brad. No, it's not that I love sober guys. She I magnetize to alcoholics and <laughs> addicts. Brad, you're her type. Brad. Okay. I have to pretend not Tristan. to sell myself. Tristan. She's not into you. Tristan. I'm not into she's you. Not, it's us. She's not into you. Oh my God, she's going to date Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to tell you guys the funniest fucking thing that just happened. What? Today, my, I was messaging, I was texting with my my art professor from college. Like, She was like one of my biggest inspirations in my life, Susan York. She's so amazing, so talented, amazing sculptor, like so monumental in my life. She was texting me that she has an art show here and um, I'm going to be out of town. But I was like, if you stick around, I'd love to have you on my solo podcast because I want to talk about some of like the life lessons she taught me. And the idea of it, like I started like crying. I was like so excited about having her on. I literally was like, oh, my God, like this is going to be so amazing. I'm like, Todd, it's going to be so good, right? Todd goes, Annie, look at what I'm doing. He was one cheek up wiping shit. Like he was like, <laughs> close the door. <laughs> Like, I was so in the moment. I was, like, proclaimed. He was, like, babe, not while I'm wiping. Like, it was just, like. <laughs> Todd said his first boundary. <laughs> but also, I did say to him, because we both, like, have to shit immediately after we eat. So we're always, like, emergency mode. That is a gift, by the way. No, I, he gave it to me. I didn't used to have it. Can I, well, can I come over? Because I need that. I'm so, I fucking hate the way I feel after I eat. Yes. It's always, like, you know how some people can eat and their stomach stays flat? Yeah. That would be a miracle for me. I've that's always because, just a bloated mess. That's because mess. your stomach is so flat. No, but when already. I eat, it shouldn't be this just yeah, gaseous, big thing. You're eating something you're probably allergic yeah. to. But like, so we run home to to both poop and we have the two bathrooms. And I'm like, yelling, oh, I'm like, Todd, you're so far away. We want to have like <laughs> toilets next to each other. Oh, in our house like and Megan Trainor. Does she have one? Yeah. By yeah. the way, Megan Trainor. We should have her be on. Haven't we had her she on? Yeah. Yeah. She's asked to be on it before. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. already made out with her. Oh. Esther. Esther, you were Esther's there. Like, she can't be there. We're not bringing her. <laughs> no, I love her. I want her on. No, we got to have that same thing. Megan, you're a queen. You're everything. Todd and I are going to do this too. We're going to hold hands, take a shit. I actually think this is pretty cute. This sounds really... I don't want to be away from him. But I have a um, poo, poo I'm a little poo-poo shy with partners. So. Maybe not Brad Pitt. You can't shit next to Brad Pitt. If Brad Pitt was like, Clyla, I need you. For me to like be into you, I need you to shit and fart in front of me. Of course <laughs> I, I would. I this is going to happen. Carlos I have is a to little say hurt. Carlos, your replacement is Brad Pitt. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe this is going to happen. Shockingly, me and Dave have like, this is like the one area in our lives where there's like full respect. It's like, if you need privacy in the bathroom, the other person will respect it. I think it's respect that Todd knows I need to see him when he's pooping. Although sometimes I'll listen. <laughs> he just doesn't want me to be around with the... with. Todd doesn't want to be around with the wiping, which I don't want to be around either. I don't want to see the wiping. Wait, All right, Esther, All right so wait, 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 guys. We have is Kalila... Is the show Kalila, over? Is Kalila... We'll end it on this. Is Kalila going to date Brad Pitt? Well, you know I'm not doing the work to get us there. Cause no, there's, this is the universe. This is the universe? Okay. You just put it out there. Well, forget we talked about it, and then you're going to come in and tell us Okay. Your surprise. What Ra is it? Raccoon. <laughs> oh fuck! I gave you the animal card. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Wait, am I the raccoon, raccoon. or is look he a raccoon? A, look up a raccoon medicine card. Will Brad date Pitt date me? Raccoon. Hmm. How do I interpret? <laughs> that? Well, Trash Tuesday. Raccoons love trash. <laughs> it says a maybe. It just says raccoon. Uh, what the raccoon is constantly trying to balance its curious. Okay, well. That's okay. Yes. Okay. You are Curious both nature between excitement and trouble. Ooh, that's what that a yes you? or a no. Yes. What are you? Excitement, excitement and, and trouble. trouble. Raccoon asks you to not become blinded by your curiosity, but to use it as a strength to problem solve and thrive in new experiences. New, new experiences. experiences! <laughs> Play you and guys, seek through life. Tune in next week to see <laughs> if Kalila is dating Brad Pitt yet. <laughs> okay. And to see why Donut threw up. <laughs> also, we're doing these cards next time. I have more cards for us. We have so much. A fan gave us. By these the way, there's so much we didn't get to today. Please, we'll see you guys next week with a brand new episode. Hi, baby. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>